Recording. Okay. Very good. Here we are at the Ontario Court of Appeal on the 22nd of June at the Matt Murnau. It's the application by the Crown Attorney Kevin Wilson for an extension of time for the repeal of the Matt Murnau decision. Now the Matt Murnau decision was the first Beano decision, bad exemption equals no offense, since JP back in 2003. And uh, he's not, he didn't use the same marijuana flaw, MMAR flaws, that were in Hitzig, which was the supplier flaws, uh, patients per grower and growers per garden, he used a different flaw, not enough doctors. Now, of course, the Crown Attorney pointed out that if they don't get their stay, all they're going to have to do is uh, put out a promotion to get more doctors. And then they'll be able to argue that they've satisfied the Taliano requirement that more doctors be provided. And so come up with some kind of a promotion to urge more doctors to participate and then argue that they've solved the Taliano problem. Now, Terry Parker here, back in 2003, we had exactly the same situation. The judge had declared that the MMAR exemption had been flawed and he gave them six months to fix it. The Crown made an application for an extension of time pending the appeal, just like today with the other MMAR flaw. Justice Carthy said, look it, you had no hope of getting your appeal heard within six months. He said, your option was to fix the MMAR within six months and not hope to get an extension of time from us. Well. Here's a case where the judge only gave them three months, so they had even less hope of getting the exemption, uh, the Court of Appeal through the appeal period in that three months. So they had three months to get the MMAR fixed. Well, in this case, because they didn't argue the Terry Parker precedent, um, the judge is probably going to grant the Crown the extension of time, especially since the Crown already granted that they'll extend the exemption for Mr. Murnot too. So, we, I am very happy the Crown is getting their extension of time because if they had not gotten their extension of time, they would be forced to then issue their promotion to say that the doctors have now been urged to participate more and therefore we've done something to fix the Taliano decision. Now, we're coming up with Bob McCrary, James Turner. These are guys who've got 40 complaints about the MMAR in their charter application not just one, like Myrna, with the doctors. They've got the Svetko Pulos, uh, complaint about not enough patients per grower, one to two didn't help. They got the same complaint of, as Barron, of the growers per patch, three to four didn't help. And 39 other complaints about the MMAR flaws that are being raised in the Court of Appeal, as well as Parker's case in the Court of Appeal. So the Myrna decision helps. Murnau decision said not enough doctors means it didn't for both treatments available by Health Canada, herbal or chemical. Any doctor pull out shouldn't be allowed. So it's very easy to satisfy the Taliano decision in Murnau, just get a couple more doctors. And they said they already had 5,000 doctors since the beginning of the project until last year. But I bet you 4,000 of them happened just last year. Okay, and made the big numbers sound like it was just over the period. It wasn't working for the first nine years. Most of the doctors started last year when they had all their delays and stuff. So anyway, the final analysis is that I am hoping that the Crown gets their stay so that they're not forced to issue their promotion to urge doctors to participate so they then claim that it's been fixed like they did for Svetko Poulos by upping it to one to two patients and saying we fixed it like they did with Myrna upping it to four growers instead of three saying we fixed it I mean Baron now they're gonna say okay we've got a promotion for more doctors to participate we fixed it and then we gotta start the fight all over 
I'm happy to think that the one issue charter Murnau challenge has been delayed, while the 40 issue charter challenges of McGrady and James Turner go through, and while Terry Parker's challenge to get his pot back. They seized it at Health Canada. His challenge is based on the Svetkopoulos and the Barron decision, both saying the NMAR didn't work at the Supreme Court of Canada, while the Murna decision found a third way the MMAR didn't work at the lower court and nowhere near the Supreme Court of Canada yet. So that's what's happening. The judge, Justice Blair, is going to decide this afternoon at 3 o'clock whether or not he's going to grant the stay, and I'm betting it's going to be granted, and that's good news for our side.